This is the Ulanzi's JJ02 Extended Camera Grip. Now you have just seen two of its very interesting features. The selfie stick and the camera shutter. In this video, we're going to explore all five features of this particular accessory. So stick around if you want something that will definitely help you upgrade your photography game. Let's now dive into its next feature. It's able to function as a tripod. If you can see up close, once you open it up, it's actually a mini tripod. Not just that, if you are actually wanting to shoot in portrait mode, you can do, do so too. All you have to do is to mount your camera in, push it up, and just flip it. It works in the portrait mode. And if you have noticed something, they actually hidden a Bluetooth remote right underneath it. Right below the phone now, you can actually remove this. And this is actually a Bluetooth remote. Once it is on, you'll be able to see this green color button over here and very easily connect it to your mobile phone as a remote device. Important if you're actually doing solo content creation. You're also able to go up to about 10 meters before actually losing connection. As for its tripod length, it starts at about 200mm and can go all the way up to about 385mm which is actually more than enough if you're planning to shoot solo. I mean selfie mode. One of the biggest hindrances of mobile phone photography is that it does not feel like a camera. Once you hold it, it feels really very thin to hold, which does not feel natural. With this grip, you're able to make it feel a little closer to what a camera feels like. Such that it feels exactly like how a camera should be. And at the top, you can see that the wireless remote is in the place of a shutter. Now, when I use this to take photo, it feels so much more natural and comfortable to use. So much easier to use all those composition techniques such as rule of thirds. Last of these features is that you can actually mount two accessories. If you look at the top, there's actually one cold shoe mount over here and at the bottom over here. I would usually like to mount a microphone at the top and in the light at the bottom. So with a selfie stick extended, it actually fits in just nice. Of course, after some adjustments. Of course, if landscape doesn't work for you, you can always change it to portrait. That way, the microphone and the light can be of the same level. Of course, it seems like my footage actually got a little bit of the, uh, of the microphone's wind mouth. So you might want to use a smaller microphone to avoid this little furry thing. If not, let's head back home to do talk about its specifications and do a quick unboxing to see what its original package actually comes with. If you are already planning on getting the JJ2 tripod, it actually comes in this very neat package. So let's do a quick unboxing to be able to see what you get in this retail package. So inside the box, you have this little Allen screw, a manual, and of course, the extendable grip itself. So this is all it comes with in its retail package. Let's now move on to its specifications. Starting with length, it measures about 10.5 cm or about 14.3 inches. When it is extended, it starts from 22 cm and can go all the way up to about 36.5 cm or about 14.3 inches. As for its weight, it is actually really light, coming at only 108 grams or about 4.16 ounce. This thing is so light, I'm sure even your wallet feels much heavier. Talking about its weight, how about its load capacity? Its load capacity can hold up to about 15 grams or about 17.6 ounce. Probably double or triple of what your phone usually weighs. Talking about mobile phones, how about its phone clamp? The phone clamp has a width of about 6cm and can go all the way up to about 8.5cm or about 3.34 inches. And of course, we need to talk about its often overlooked, which is its Bluetooth remote. This Bluetooth remote has a range of about 10 meters. 
which is pretty decent. But it does run on cell coin batteries, which is a bummer because most devices out there are actually USB-C chargeable. Let's talk about price. How much does one of these cost? Each one of these JJ02 tripod comes in at only 24 USD. Really reasonable for what it offers. Let's talk a little bit about my experience with this. After using this for extensively a week, I do really like it. It is small, portable, and really light. And what I do really appreciate about this is there is no metallic parts. Meaning, it's not prone to rust and will probably last a really long time. So, who do I think this tripod will be most useful for? That group would likely be mobile photographers. The grip along with the shutter button makes holding the mobile phone so much more convenient in the hand. Mobile phones tend to be thin, which is not the most comfortable to hold. So the grip really comes in handy by providing better ergonomics. The second smaller group would be content creators. As you have probably seen, it has actually two mounts to be able to put your accessories. Be it light or microphone, it's really useful to add these accessories to be able to enhance your video quality. Either of these groups will really appreciate the JJ22 because compared to other tripods and grips, it's extremely small and lightweight. I'm sure there will be times you won't know that it's even in your pocket. Did this grip impress you? And which one is your favourite feature? Share with me your thoughts down below. If not, I'll see you guys in the next video.